Scorpios. Welcome to the Cozy Clay. It's your host, Cozy. And today I'm here to do y'all 2021 13 card spread. I got a new tech. I got a new tarot deck. Don't play with the key. So I'm already burning sage and of course my own sage. <laughs> the sun is going down, but we still gonna get this done. It's going down pretty quick though. It's going down pretty quick, okay? But we're gonna get this done as quick as I can get it done. Um, I love y'all Scorpios. This goes for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And also, if y'all would like, my Instagram is in the book in the description box below. Go follow me. Also, like, share, comment, subscribe this video. Um, like this video, comment on this video if you would like. And also subscribe to the key, to the key, to the cozy key, the cozy key, key cozy, cozy key. Boom. I know y'all like how I do the K thing. Yeah, I do too. All right. So if this sun go down all the way, y'all already know I got my light. I got my light. You know what I'm saying? Let me hold up. Hold up. Let me, let me go ahead and turn this on. You know what I'm saying? Let me just put that right there. So, boom. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So, basically, as soon as I feel it. Yep. All right. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The sun went down so fast. Overall, Scorpios, your year is looking like the Ten of Cups, honey. You are fucking kidding me? Oh my God. It says... A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your kids, raising kids wisely. Mm. People you can trust. This is all about you trusting people more, Scorpio. We all know y'all have a problem with that. Ooh, wait. 2021, I'll be good for y'all then. You'll be around people you can trust. And you'll know who you can. All right, so in January, you have the Queen of Swords, brilliant, experienced, humorous, and judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Don't we all start the year that way? Okay, you should be doing that right now, okay? Seeing the humor in different difficult situations. Yes, I agree that y'all can do that. <laughs> yes, focusing on career. Then we have in February, the Page of Pentacles. So, this is all about happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity of presents itself. Hmm. Uh, yeah, also about getting something that's tangible, something that's resourceful, if you give a nice mean. March is all about the world, which is brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. I mean, that sounds good to me, Scorpio. I don't know about y'all, but that sounds good to me. It says, be proud of yourself, freedom to do whatever you want. We know that y'all already do that already, but in March, y'all gonna be turning up, okay? Y'all gonna be getting lit lit. I, okay. <laughs> In April, we have the Eight of Pentacles, learning what you can about a career or a subject, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail. Hmm. Okay. In May, you have the Two of Cups, falling in love, 
or a resurgence of a rom romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the end of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on the people you love. You're already around people you try you can trust all year. Like that is the thing. All right. So in June you have um hot dick energy. I'm joking. I'm joking. But some of you, you know you know how it is, Scorpio. Don't be playing. Y'all you know y'all be running around here. Okay. Don't be playing. Here. Okay, so it says passion, confidence, charismatic, restless. Events and re events requiring immediate action. Trust your inch trust your instincts. A passionate relationship. Yeah, we know about passion, Scorpio. We have it. Let me get out of y'all, June. July has the Knight of Cups, honey. So it y'all gonna be dealing with a fire sign. Or you meet this person and you're like, damn, I'll actually fuck with this person. And then y'all start having sex. And then, you know, you start gaining the love. And then, like, because some people think it goes in that order, honey. I ain't judging y'all if y'all do. I just want to have a friend first. That's really where I'm at with it. So I can know that I actually like you and not your dick. Because I already like your face. So. Cause you did can't do much for me as a person. It can only, you know, do whatever it does at that moment. But I need, I need more than that. You know how it is. But anyways, in July you have the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the night, the Knight of Pentacles. Hold on, the Knight of Cups. It says falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship. So, uh, situations or topics that make your heart flutter a love of art and poetry very much your own energy could be also offering someone um, offering someone like a new um, what am I trying to say offering someone emotions it's kind of hard to get that from you Then in August, you have the nine, of, the, the nine of Pentacles. Why do I keep wanting to say the night? The Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, hard work that leads to a luxur luxurious life. Buying yourself something special, successful, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. Which we all know Scorpios do need solitude, just like any other zodiac in the zodiac signs. But also water signs really do need like their time to be alone so that we can release other people's energy like sometimes we're too much in other people's energy without even knowing so okay then we have another nine for september which is nine um so in september we have the nine of wands protecting what you've created be prepared never give up ask your angels for help Environment, environmental activism and animal rights which some of you can be into that I'm feeling like the need to protect though which is what Scorpios are about as well this is a whole thing about your whole like this whole year is just about you so make sure that you're happy throughout this whole year make sure you're doing things that actually is satisfying you not only on like a money situation or a love situation or a sex situation or a mental situation make sure it's actually helping all of you get what i mean all right so in october we have the four of wands okay okay so then we have the four of wands so much to celebrate saying gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you <laughs> peace and contentment in your personal life Ooh, that's the ignorant the ignorant divine connection baby okay another four then we have the four of swords in october i mean not in october in in November, 
the four of swords is all about allowing your time yourself time to make before making a decision mental exhaustion the need to take a rest or a vacation insight that comes from meditation boom whatever you're deciding on in these in um november december is gonna be lit i you could be dealing with a fire sign did i already say that because it's a lot of fire and water Okay, so then we have the Six of Wands. Victory, wise choice from, that brings public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. Success. The Six of Wands is all about victory. Victory is mine. Everybody's rewarding me. Everybody's like, woo. Yeah. So that's how I feel whenever I see the sixes of wands because that's how y'all gonna be Scorpio that's what y'all gonna be in y'all gonna be like yeah boom listening to your intuition is the is one of the low-key little little things in the background of this year that you need to be aware of um letting go of fears revelations that make everything clear that third eye is gonna be balanced Ain't nobody gonna be able to see get beyond that as we already see in january by you having a queen of pentacles and being like look bitch you ain't good for me you gotta go and y'all know y'all y'all quick to cut somebody off who ain't good for y'all like and that's why i fuck with y'all because like yes bitch i'm like that too with my cancer ass cancer ass shit i don't know what pisces be doing look they be loving people who don't be loving them back <laughs> I'm joking, Pisces. I love y'all too. <laughs> y'all thought I would really talk about y'all like that? Come on now. I know y'all cross watchers watching because y'all probably deal with each other just like I was wanting to deal with Scorpios. I ain't dealing with y'all. I ain't dealing with y'all. I deal with our signs. I'll stick to that because that's what I know. And they love me. And I love them. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this reading so, so much. I appreciate y'all for watching and giving me your time of the day. I really hope that y'all had a good, good 2020. And I hope that y'all are going to have a wonderful, 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 it already looks like a wonderful, wonderful 2021. And be sure that you're being aware of things that are going on around us, please. And just, I'm going to say that and leave y'all with that. like this video comment if you would like subscribe to the cozy kid the cozy kid and i really appreciate y'all i hope that y'all enjoy <laughs>